Ethereum is on life support and 99% of its holders have no ID. It's not dead, it's trapped. Trapped in a cage of its own creation. Built from layer two band-aids, insane gas fees and a roadmap that looks more like a patchwork quilt than a path to the future. But there is a key to that cage and if Ethereum doesn't use it, it will become the blockbuster of crypto. A nostalgic memory while the world moves on to Netflix. That key is a protocol so powerful, it doesn't just run smart contracts, it re- runs the entire internet itself. This is part of our blockchain series, and I'm exposing the silent partnership that needs to happen inevitably. And the one altcoin that isn't just a competitor, it's Ethereum's only shot at survival. Stick around because this will be the most important trade you will consider potentially in your life. Welcome back to the channel family. If you're new here, we don't do hopium, we do hardcore analysis. We look at the code, the adoption, and the cold hard economics of what makes a crypto project survive the next five, 10, 20 years. This is our blockchain series where we go deep on infrastructure wars. What we're talking about today isn't just another Ethereum killer narrative. Those are boring and most of them fail. We're talking about something far more disruptive, the great integration. The internet is about to rewrite itself. And right now we have two giants on the field. One is Ethereum, the king of DeFi and NFTs. The other is a project you might have heard it, but probably underestimated the Internet Computer Protocol, or ICP. And I'm going to prove to you that for Ethereum to remain relevant, it doesn't need to beat ICP. It needs to embrace it. This isn't a war. It's a rescue mission. Okay, let's rewind. It's 2026. Ethereum launches, and it's a revelation. Programmable money, smart contracts. It was genius at the time as they pioneered smart contracts. But there was a fatal flaw, a ticking time bomb in its architecture. They built a world computer where every single node has to process every single transaction. It's like having one cashier for every customer on the planet. And when the line gets long and the price to skip the line is difficult, the gas fees go through the roof and they can go exponentially up. So what was the solution? The scalability roadmap. First, it was sharding, breaking the chain into pieces. Then when that got too complicated, then I already shifted. It's okay. We'll have layer twos, roll up, side chains. And now look at it. It's a Frankenstein's monster of complexity. You need literally a PhD just to bridge your assets without getting wrecked. This isn't scaling. This is passing the buck. And while developers are lost in the labyrinth of layer twos, innovation has absolutely flatlined. And when was the last time you saw a truly groundbreaking mass adopted DAP on Ethereum that wasn't about financial speculation? Exactly. Meanwhile, the founders and early whales have been making exits, not breakthroughs. The capital is extracting and the vision is stagnating. Ethereum is still stuck in 2016, but with a 2025 paint job. So enter the internet computer or true war computer. Most people think it's just another blockchain. They are absolutely dead wrong. Ethereum runs contracts, yes. It's a brilliant trustless calculator, but ICP? ICP absolutely runs everything fully on chain. Full stack applications, websites, databases, and even artificial intelligence models entirely on chain. Think of it like this. Ethereum is the brilliant specialist doctor in one building, but to get a full health checkup, You have to run to a lab in another city, that's an L2, then to a radiologist in a different country, that's another L2, and you're paying a toll for every single trip. The internet computer, it's the entire hospital, has everything built in it. You want to build the next TikTok, a decentralized LinkedIn, or an on-chain AI assistant, you can build anything you want. And with the launch yesterday of Caffeine AI to the masses, you can build with a self-writing internet Anything that you have in your mind, anything that you envision, you can build through natural language. You don't need a dozen different protocols and bridges. You build it directly on ICP. It's a seamless, unified system 
where you own and control your data. This is a computation backbone Ethereum never built. Ethereum, yes, scales speculation. ICP scales the entire internet itself. That is not a meme. That is its literal design. So what does this mean for your portfolio and for the future? This is where it gets exciting. The narrative that ICP is an Ethereum killer is lazy. The sophisticated take, the one that will make you money, is the symbiosis narrative. Imagine a future where Ethereum's robust, secure ledger and its massive DeFi ecosystem become the settlement layer for value, the trust layer, and the internet computer becomes a computation and storage layer. Because remember, to store data on Ethereum costs an arm and a leg. Whereas with ICP, you can store at fractions, like literally cents. Your NFT isn't just a token on Ethereum pointed to an image on Amazon Web Services, which can be taken down. The entire NFT, the art, the metadata, the in interactive website to view it lives on chain, powered by ICP, the world computer, with its ownership secured by Ethereum. And DeFi protocols, complex logic that's too expensive to run on Ethereum, it runs on ICP and settles the final transaction on Ethereum. This isn't a dream. This is technically possible today. Ethereum survives and thrives and evolves by leveraging ICP's raw computational power. Without it, Ethereum does really risk becoming a museum piece, a beautiful, valuable, but fundamentally limited relic of a bygone era. The internet is not going to wait for Ethereum to fix its gas fees. The future of AI is not going to wait for a dozen L2s to figure how to coordinate. The train is leaving the station. Because this is the FOMO moment. This is the moment you look back on in, say, two years and say, I saw the connection before the crowd. But just, just don't take my word for it. I want you to go down that rabbit hole, research chain key cryptography, reverse gas models, and do the research yourself. See for yourself how ICP makes user experiences feel like Web 2, but with the security of Web 3. This tech is absolutely mind-blowing. So smash that like button if you're seeing the bigger picture here. Comment below and tell me, do you think Ethereum will adapt or become the next blockbuster? And I do read every single comment. And if you're getting value from this blockchain series, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I drop this series once a week to keep you in the loop. And we do have some huge alpha coming that will change how you see this whole entire ecosystem. And you do not want to miss what's coming next. Look, in crypto, we bet on paradigms. We bet on shifts. The shifts from Web 2 to Web 3 isn't just about moving databases. It's about rebuilding the fabric of the high entire internet itself from the ground up. Ethereum, yes, it laid the foundation for trust. But the internet computer, true world computer, is building the house we all get to live in. Ethereum doesn't have to die, but it does need a new heart. And that heart is beating right now, waiting to be plugged in. The question is, will the Ethereum community be smart enough to see it before it's too late? So stay hungry, stay free, stay decentralized, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.